Hey guys, welcome to my channel! Yeah, my channel. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's my channel. Okay, let me tell you, it's my channel. Oh yes. It's my channel, and I'll cry if I want to. Cry if I want to. You would cry too if it was your channel too. Do, 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 do. It's messages from Divine Masculine. Hello, happy Wednesday. Hope you're having a pretty awesome week. If you're not, that's too bad. Because I'm going to make it worse. Just joking. Just joking. I wouldn't do that. Would you do that, Kurt? Would you? No, I wouldn't do that. If anything, if you're having a pretty awesome week, I'm going to make it even more awesomer. And if you're having a bad week, I'm going to make it pretty awesome. So there you go, guys. There you go. Welcome to Twin Flames 101. What are we going to talk about today? Well, we're going to talk about the soul. Let's talk about consciousness, which is the soul, which is your twin flame. Guys, I'm in union with my twin flame. I've coached over 3,000 students, and I've got all kinds of students that are with their twin flame. And I'm not just saying that to brag. Some of y'all might be new here, and you don't know who I am, and you're sitting there wondering, well, why the hell should I listen to you, right? Right? And that's a fair question. Why should you listen to me? You don't know who I am. All right, well, there you go. I'm in union with my twin. We post videos together on my YouTube channel, apparently now. And I've got over 3,000 students, many of whom are with their twin flame. And if you want to go read testimonials from them, no problem. You can go to my website. There's a link in the description box below. You can go to my website and read testimonials from my students who are with their twin flame. So there you go. There you go, guys. Now, now that I've established why you should listen to my advice, uh, let's talk about the soul. Very interesting. Why should we talk about the soul? Well, everybody knows that twin flames are one soul, two people. You and your twin flame are the same soul. So, if you want to do something about your twin flame, I guess you need to know all about the soul, don't ya? Don't ya, don't ya? I'll make it very, very simple for you. This is why my system is so successful. This is why I'm the most successful twin flame coach in the world. Check it out. It's very simple. You are a three-part triune being. Physical body, mind, soul, right? Everybody knows that. Body, mind, soul. Everybody knows that. Okay, Th this is why my teachings work, because they're back to basic stuff, guys. This is not complicated, actually. Twin Flames is not complicated. It's not, really. Okay, so let's talk about the difference between the mind and the soul. First, we'll talk about the mind. Thought, emotion, metaphysical energy, and it works on a system of duality. Good, bad, right, wrong. Love, fear, I feel good, I feel bad, past, future, here, there, do, don't do, right? Duality. In spiritual circles, they call that yin and yang. Albert Einstein called it relativity. Duality, opposites, right? That's the mind. It's thinking, figuring out, wondering, feeling, Emotion, thought, mental, right? The mind, you know. Okay, now in contrast, the soul is consciousness. It's the very awareness. So there's thoughts and feelings going on in your mind. And then there is a you who is aware of thoughts and feelings. Oh gosh, why did I think that? Oh gosh, why did I feel that? Why do I feel this way? Why am I thinking this? Right? What am I going to do? Right? There's thoughts and there is awareness at the same time. You're not a two-part being, body and mind. You are body, mind, soul. There's thoughts and awareness going on at the same time. Right? The soul is different from the mind. Now... Armed with this information, think about this, no pun intended. You and your twin flame are the same soul. 
Mm-hmm. What can be done about your twin flame? Well, not mental constructs, not healing, not stages, not fixing your childhood wounds, clearing karma, sending healing energy to them, looking to an outcome, looking to the future, duality, past, future. I like it. I don't like it. I want this. I don't want that. Outcomes, right? Judgment. Oh, things aren't supposed to be this way. Judgment, thoughts, beliefs, right? That's all mental stuff. And I'm not saying that's bad. That's just what that is. So there's something else you have to do, something other than thinking about it. If you and your twin flame are the same soul, there's something other than thought. Go watch my other videos, guys, or sign up for some coaching. It's really, really easy. It's just the true spiritual journey. It's traditional Zen spiritualism. That's all it is, guys. You and your twin flame are the same spirit. You're the same soul. You got to do soul stuff. It's no different than Jesus, Buddha, Hare Krishna, the Tao, Eckhart Tolle, Abraham Hicks, Alan Watts, etc., etc. No different. No different, guys. The Dalai Lama, right? Spiritualism, real spiritualism, not the weird culty crap. Not the pop culture spiritualism on the internet, which is actually not spiritualism. That's all it is, guys. That's all it is. That's my secret. That's why I'm the most successful twin flame coach ever. Ever, guys. And I don't have any problems saying that. Look at this. At the bottom of the deck, Divine Masculine. Oh, no. King of Swords in reverse. That's not great, but it's not bad either. So lots and lots of conflict, internal conflict. But that's good for you, Divine Feminine. I mean, that's it's going to be a bad day for him or her, but... <laughs> It's good for you. It's good news for you. Look at this. The hanged man in reverse. Recent past for divine masculine. So-called divine masculine. Now, coupled with this king of swords in reverse, what are we talking about? Well, divine masculine needs to slow down and remember who he or she really is. You got to remember who you are. Even if for them it's not this deeply spiritual experience, at minimum they have to be true to themselves. They have to live their best life for them. And they are. Notice how there's this Ten of Cups at the center of the reading. Keep watching, guys. Keep watching. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay. Towards the so-called karmic, Three of Cups in reverse, Ace of Swords in reverse. Mm, now that's interesting. Right. Releasing, relinquishing all the crap about how my life is supposed to be and how I'm everybody's fucking hero. You ever notice how they have to be everything to all people all the time except for you? You ever notice that? Seriously. Your divine masculine is always trying to be everything to all people all the time except for you. Except for divine feminine. Uh, I don't think they're having it anymore. I just don't think they're going to be into that anymore. They're really sick and tired of trying to live up to everybody's expectations Instead, it's Divine Feminine. It's Divine Feminine instead. Look at this. Divine Masculine, worried, sick about losing you forever, knowing they have to be very patient and they've got to make amends with you and they better hurry up because you're not happy about the way things have gone. Are you, Divine Feminine? Seven of Pentacles and the lovers in reverse. Oops, I guess I kind of screwed that one up. Divine Masculine, going to be making some apologies to you. Very, very soon. Now, here's this Ten of Cups. What's the Ten of Cups saying? What do you think it says? Divine Masculine wants to be with you. They want to start a new life with you. That's all they can think about right now. The only problem is the karmic situation. They can't make up their mind if they're supposed to make amends there first or not. Divine Masculine's value system is actually based on doing the right thing to all people. Because remember, they were always trying to be all things to all people. So they're looking at it like altruism. You're looking at it like they're just a jackass. So look in the mirror, right? They have to do that too. They just don't want to mistreat anybody. Well, then how do you explain what you did to me, Divine Masculine? Oh, I don't know. It's the energy. They're your twin flame. That's all it is, guys. You have to look at... Whatever happened between you and your divine masculine energetically, it's not the same as it is with the so-called karmic. With the karmic situation, it's altruism. At least they think it is. Okay? 
And never mind what actions they took towards you. What I'm telling you is it's their perception. Nobody really does anything wrong based on their model of the world. Now, Divine Masculine is going to be getting on his or her knees, groveling to you, asking you for forgiveness very soon. Because it's going to dawn on them, oh, shit, I guess I didn't treat that person with the utmost respect. Yeah, you're right about that, Divine Masculine. Look at this. Two of, two of Wands and the Page of Swords... Current energy towards the karmic situation, right? Ready to take off, ready to leave, walking out the damn door. There's going to be more drama, I think, very soon. Very, very soon. And Divine Masculine, Four of Wands, next to the Four of Cups in reverse. It's killing him. This is how Divine Masculine is feeling towards you right now. I'm going to beg you for forgiveness. Please forgive me. I'm sorry that I ever treated you the way you did because you make Divine Masculine feel so good. That's why the Four of Wands is coming out. Divine Masculine is going to be getting on his or her knees and begging you for forgiveness, if not if not figuratively, then literally. Okay, and that's going to happen mm, pretty soon. Pretty soon. Keep watching. This King of Swords didn't come out just because everything's okey-doke with Divine Masculine. You believe that? Believe that right now. Let's do an oracle card, guys. Happy Wednesday, everybody. And as always, if you want to work with me, if you want to work with the best, you know where to find me, guys. Go to my website down below. I've coached over 3,000 students. You can read testimonials from my students who are with their twin flame, having amazing spiritual breakthroughs. And of course, I'm in union with my twin flame. And while you're there on my website, why don't you sign up for the coaching, guys? It's not expensive, and it works. It's the only thing that works. I'm the most successful Twin Flame coach in the world. I'm not saying that to brag. That's for your benefit, guys. You might not know who I am. I'm a complete stranger on YouTube as far as you're concerned. Go read my testimonials. Go check it out, guys. They speak for themselves. You want to do something about your situation, don't you? Of course you do. You can go watch the free content on my YouTube channel, and it's the best there is. It's the best there is. But do yourself a favor. Sign up today for the Introduction to the Journey. The paid content, the Introduction to the Journey, available on my website. I go way deeper, guys. I will give you action steps that you can implement right now to make the permanent energetic shift you need to make to align with your soul, which is your twin flame. That is your twin flame. And it works every time, guys. It works. After you're done watching the online video course, you and I get a talk either in a one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting on my group coaching calls, the Get Your Twin Flame Spiritual Coaching System, up to four calls a week. They are recorded. You get to talk to me, my two coaches. There's a secret Facebook group. Nobody knows that you're in there, let alone what we're, what we're talking about. And the best part is it's not expensive, guys. I don't charge thousands. I do not, and I never will. It's only two or three hundred dollars. That's it. You get the videos, you get to keep the videos forever, and you get to talk to me. I highly recommend the gold package. With the gold package, you get two months of the group coaching calls included with your original purchase, two months free trial to the group coaching calls, silver package, no problem. You still get a week free trial of the group coaching calls. You're gonna wanna stay on the calls, guys. Most people just listen to the calls too. Actually, most people don't even talk, although you can talk to me very easily if you want to do that, no problem. But the calls are recorded, the call times are staggered so that you can still get on a call if you live in different parts of the world, no problem. And it's not expensive, guys. I also have payment plans. If you cannot afford my already very low prices, not a problem. I do have payment plans. You can start today for $50 or $60 and make smaller incremental payments. If you pay in full, you do get $50 off versus the payment plan. But still, if you don't have two or 300 bucks right now today, you can still swing 50 or 60. You can get started today. You get all the videos, access to the calls, everything with the payment plan. You don't have to wait to finish paying. You get everything up front. Sign up today, guys. Get that gold package. Let's do this, Oracle deck. What is going on? Divine Masculine. Why are you such a basket case? I'm really wondering about that Ten of Cups, too. 
Very, very interesting. Ew. Is it that one? It's that one. It's this one right here. Divine Masculine is feeling very inspired. Oh, this should be a good one. Archangel Gabriel, inspiration. Let's check it out. Gabriel, where are you? Inspiration. Take a deep breath and visualize your breath force as a beautiful blue light filling you. Gabriel will guide you to connect with the flow of the universe with God's breath. When flow occurs, thus Gabriel removes the tensions and holding points that have prevented you from creating love and joy in your life. Inspiration means to be influenced by the divine. And if you can take several moments to enjoy Gabriel's breath as your breath, relaxation will abound and creative ideas will swiftly flow into your consciousness. Therefore, allow stillness to facilitate the flow. Pushing doesn't allow, it merely creates resistance. Chant Raman three times for the channel of angelic inspiration to remain open and yet protect yourself with a golden light around your aura as you move through the business of life. Thereby, you will protect the exquisite vulnerability of your soul's truth. Now, I'm not expecting Divine Masculine to chant any kind of omens at all, but what I believe this card is telling you is that Divine Masculine is fully aware that there is more to life than the current situation that they are in. And that also explains why he or she is pining for you. And if they're not talking to you right now, they're probably stalking you on social media. I guarantee that. And I can tell because of the way this Five of Wands came out. At the very end of the reading, most likely outcome, Five of Wands in reverse, Divine Masculine. They know they're not supposed to be talking to you. The karmic's going to get jealous, whatever it is. So they're stalking you on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. Why do they do that? Because they want to be with you. And holy guacamole, look at this shit. Divine Masculine towards the karmic, most likely outcome, the tower, and the two of swords in reverse. Ouch! That's going to sting, and I'm pretty sure Divine Masculine is going to take both of those swords and stick them where the sun doesn't shine. As far as the karmic is concerned, that's going to be some drama right there. And once again, Divine Masculine... How do they feel towards you, Divine Feminine? I don't know. Judgment. Strength in reverse. DM is going to be chasing you down, begging you for forgiveness. They're just waiting for the time to be right so they can make the right move. Divine Masculine is very sorry for the things that they did, said, running, denying you two and your ultimate destiny together. You guys, this is it. This is it. This is it. Divine Masculine, they've been through it all. They know this is the end. And that's a beautiful thing. Because I don't know about you, but I, 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 I'm guessing the running and the chasing thing isn't working out for you. No, it's not. Oh my goodness, guys. Please don't forget to hit the bell notification icon button when you subscribe. Because if you don't hit the bell button when you subscribe, you will not get notifications. Whenever I post one of my videos, also please hit the like button. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow for another stupendous video. Have a happy Wednesday, everybody. I love you guys so much. Bye.